The very sad story now. A 28-year-old British woman has died while undergoing gastric gastric band surgery in Turkey. Yeah, Shannon Bow passed away at the weekend during the weight loss procedure, which involves placing a band around the stomach. With 22 Brits dying during medical tourism trips to Turkey between January of 2019 and March of this year, we're asking this morning, is it time we call for a ban on bootleg treatments abroad? Well, joining us now is aesthetics doctor and founder of the Esho Clinic, Dr. Tijan Esho, good morning to you. Really good to have you with us, Doctor. So first of all, your response to just such a tragic story. It's so sad um, because when anyone dies from a routine surgery, um, it's a very sad thing, and particularly someone so young. But as you quite rightly said, we see more and more of this happening abroad, and it's usually in situations where patients have gone based on cost and not the experience of the clinical setting. Um, so in terms of the actual patient herself, Shannon, she was 28. Um, she didn't appear to be so hugely overweight. She was fit. She was young. She was relatively healthy. What are the risks um, to ordinary people and who, what kind of people are especially at risk if they undergo such a procedure? Okay. So the type of surgery she did have, the gastric band surgery, there are a number of risks that can happen during this. And these can be from basic risk to the anesthesia itself, um, which can have reactions or anaphylaxis or which you have a true allergic reaction, or you can have hemorrhage and loss of blood or infections of the wound post the surgery itself. Now, most of the complications tend to happen in older patients who have coexistent illnesses. So respiratory problems, heart problems, these are the things that makes the surgery much much harder, but if someone's so young and, and fit, and like you said, not terribly overweight, then you're in a situation where they should have really not had this type of complication, but we don't know the full details yet to see what happened. No, that's a really important thing to say. We don't know, you know, the full details of this case. It is such a tragic one. Um, but there is this worrying trend, isn't there, Dr. Esho, about young people especially being so tempted by the cost of these surgeries in Turkey that they make the decision uh, to go out there and have them. But there are risks associated with that, aren't there, especially when it comes to aftercare and complications? Definitely. I always say if the deal's too good to be true, then it is. Um, and usually when at that type of cost or being that cheap, you're taking away a number of factors that would make the patient more safe. These usually things from routine aftercare that isn't given. You know, when they return to England, there's no someone to follow them up. And usually then they're going on to the NHS, which is already loaded um, with stresses already to try and take care of these people post operations when they've had complications. Um, Dr. Ashley, I want to ask you one other question. Um, as well as the, the cost which tempts people abroad, as well as waiting lists if they choose to go via the NHS route, is something else afoot here? Is it the pressure, especially on young women via social media, to, to have that kind of perfect body? Are people going for these kind of procedures that medically perhaps don't need them, but it's more a case of the pressure to look amazing? There definitely is a bigger pressure um, on the younger generation now coming through um, social media, um, shows on TV. We've heard about the effects of Love Island um, and how that's put further stresses on people. So there definitely is a bigger stress on our own self-image and how we look. And these are driving people to have surgeries or non-surgical treatments. Dr. Esho, what's your advice then to people who are watching and listening this morning, perhaps young women who are thinking about making this journey to Turkey? What would your advice be for them seeking cosmetic surgery? Well, first off, if you're start thinking about cosmetic surgery, you really need to understand why you're doing it and if it is for the right reasons. And if you are then going to do it, then have it in the best place possible. We're not saying that all surgery abroad is um, unsafe. There are great facilities abroad as well as they're here. But if you're going to shop, shop based on experience in a regulated medical facility and not based on cost. Dr. Esho, fantastic to have you and your analysis on the programme this morning. You are an expert in this field. That's Dr. Esho, aesthetics doctor and founder of the Esho Clinic. Thank you very much.